YouTube, how you doing? All right, so here we are, it's brew day, and we're getting ready to brew. I've got a buddy of mine, Aaron, he's coming down this summer, we're gonna spend a week or so. So uh, I'd ask him what kind of beer he wanted. He, he enjoys a dark beer, so he requested an oatmeal stout, which I think is a great choice. I think this is gonna turn out to be an excellent brew. Um, I'm not really into the dark beers, but uh, I've heard nothing but good reviews about, about an oatmeal stout. So we're going to try this one out and see how it works. But anyway, so we're getting ready to brew. I've got all my equipment, my ingredients laid out here. And I thought I'd just walk you guys through what each piece of equipment is, what it does, and why we use it. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start at this end and work our way this way. <coughs> I'm sorry. Allergies are really kicking my butt today. <clears throat> All right, first piece of equipment here is a wine thief or a warp thief. Um, all it is is a piece of tubing, plastic, uh, with a one-way check valve here at the end, end of it. Uh, what we do is after we get our, our brew brewed and we dump our wort into our first stage fermenter, right before we pitch our yeast, we're going to take this uh, wart thief, drop it down into the first stage fermenter. It's going to open up this one-way check valve, allowing the wart to fill up this tube. When we take it out, it closes the one-way check valve, uh, keeping the wart inside the wart thief. <clears throat> then we're going to take this hydrometer, and as you can see, maybe, it has numbers and just a graduated scale, okay? So we take that uh, hydrometer, we drop it into the wart, giving it a spin uh, to release any air bubbles that might get trapped beneath it. Uh, and wherever this uh, start floats, um, uh, that's gonna be your uh, specific gravity for that, that wart. Uh, then we'll take another one of those readings right before we bottle. Um, and then there's a, a mathematical conversion that you do with those two numbers. And it actually, <coughs> sorry, it actually gives you the uh, specific gravity or alcohol content of your brew. All right, so that's what those two pieces of equipment do. This here, this is a floating thermometer. We're going to use this during our boil. Um, just to check our temperatures and maintain the correct temperature. Here we have a uh, just a, a funnel, but it has a, a mesh screen, a really fine mesh screen that uh, pops in there. Uh, and I will use this to pour my cooled wort uh, from my brew kettle into my first stage fermenter, uh, thus catching any sediment that... Uh, I don't want in my fermenter. Well, an airlock. Essentially, you have to have an airlock. This here is a three piece airlock. Uh, you fill it up with water. There's a little line going across there. It says fill line. Fill it up with water. I always use sanitizing solution. Uh, drop in the top, pop on the top, and that is your uh, three piece airlock. This here, this is just something I kind of rigged up um, just to kind of suspend my grains in my uh, brew kettle. Um, basically what it does is just sits over the edge here. Um, and that just uh, suspends my grains out of the, uh, or into the, the boil kettle. Um, okay, here we have our, just a stirring spoon. This here is our 22 quart uh, brew kettle. Uh, this here, uh, I picked this up at Walmart. Uh, it wasn't outrageously priced. It wasn't bad at all, really. And it's, uh, it's been good. We, we, I brewed several batches with it. I uh, really like this. I think this is actually made by Better Homes and Gardens. Again, I picked it up at Walmart. 22 quarts. Um, well worth the money I paid for it. And then over here I have um, this is actually my bottling bucket, but I use it on brew day. Um, this is my first stage fermenter right here. Um, and I have a uh, 
thermometer, uh, just a stick on tape thermometer on there, uh, kind of you know gives me an idea of, of what my wart is fermenting at. It has a lid with a bung hole in it. Uh, that bung hole is what the airlock uh, goes into. That's that. And uh, my bottling bucket, the reason I use my bottling bucket on brew day is for aeration. Um, once I have it into my first stage formatter, I'll actually take the two buckets and I'll just pour them back and forth. So I'll pour the wort from, from one bucket to the other bucket and just do that back and forth about four or five times just to really introduce a lot of oxygen into the brew to help that uh, yeast really start working. Um, okay, then on to the ingredients. Here we have the my grains um, and they look really good. Uh, going to give a lot of added flavor to this, this uh, home brew. Um, here we have an ounce of pelletized hops. This is the uh, mesh bag that comes with the kit and I use it for the grains when I'm steeping them. This is the dark malt extract, um, so we'll use this for this uh, specific recipe. This is my whey yeast activator smack pack. Um, I showed you in other videos how these smack packs work. Uh, this is the one for the, the oatmeal. Um, I actually went with the Irish stout. All right, uh, five star star sand. This is essential. Everything you do with your ward has to be sanitized. So, this is an excellent sanitizer. You gotta use it. Um, if not this, some kind of sanitizer, but this is what I found uh, to work best for me. Uh, this here is my boil bag. So, uh, my hops are gonna go into this bag uh, for this recipe. That's the only thing I'll use this for is the hops. Uh, some recipes, I, I might put some coriander in with it. Uh, I might have some, say, some orange peels I want to put in the boil. Uh, stuff like that I put into one of these boil bags. Again, just keeps a lot of sediment out of your wart. Uh, makes pouring it from here to here, going through this, a whole lot simpler if you use one of these. I think it gives it a better taste, too. Um, and the last thing we got here is our directions, step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on on what to do. But uh, that is everything that we are going to use today on brew day. Um, so I guess I'm going to go ahead, get the sanitizing started, get everything sanitized, and then we will uh, be back to brew in just a few minutes. So until next time.